Hey guys, I am back here with another video. This time it's for my Axial Yeti XL. This would be the front differential. And uh, normally the gauge of oil that they have in here normally is 40K diff oil. I'm putting in 60K diff oil because it's better. Um, but I'm going to show you how to put it back together. <sighs> and also, I'm going to give you the part number for the bearings. Here's the parent, the bearings. Part number. And what the measurement is, because I had a hell of a time trying to find these bearings. They were a pain in the butt. It took me a very long time to find them. But there's the part number. Now let's get started. You see there's a little a little grub screw in there that you have to back out. You back that out. And you gotta put the bearing on like that. And you see that? There's a metal washer in there. There's also a rubber seal, just like this orange one and this one. I just didn't want to take that stuff out. <laughs> For one, I didn't really need to. And then now you have to try to put this pin back in that hole to hopefully go back into the hole. Oh, wow. That was actually fairly easy. And then after you do that, then I do believe you put this bad boy on there. No. Then, there you go. You got the cog gear in there. Put this screw back in there. Make sure she's in there good. Nothing's binding up. Then, you pour the diff oil in there a little bit. Because it takes a while for this stuff to settle down. Because obviously it's 60,000. Oh my gosh. I can't even squeeze it. Oh, wow. Okay, hold on. I'll be right back. I gotta... Wait for the diff oil to warm up a little bit. I actually just decided to do this first. Here's the top part. Put the bearing on there. And put that thing through there. Put the washer on top. Covers that just like that. And you put the pin through oh no this one is apparently going to be a little bit more difficult there you go see there you go now that works then you want to put this gear on there. There you go. Uh, then let's see if this is going to actually pour out now at all. There she goes. Then how you set up these tiny little gears. Is like this. Then you put a little spice on there on the back of it, so that way you don't have binding issues. You do that on both sides. And then the second one, see, there's a little notch. I don't know if you can tell that. There's a little notch out on both of them, so you just kind of. 
Oh no, stick them together like that. Try to keep them all together. <clears throat> and uh, just like I was saying earlier, this is for an Axial Yeti XL, so. This part is pretty hard, especially if you got big hands, big fingers. I mean, it might be a one eight scale truck, but the gears in it are still pretty freaking tiny. There you go. Then after you have that whole set up like that, then you just go ahead and you drop her down in there, just kind of like that. There you go. Oh, damn it. And drop her down in there like that. Then you pour more diff fluid. Oh my god. This stuff is really thick. It's nice stuff. Oh. There. And then you kind of want to wait a little bit. For it to actually settle in and all the cracks and let all the bubbles appear. All the air bubbles that are trapped in there. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to let that sit for a little bit and I will be right back. Okay guys, since my diff oil is not as thick as some other people like, sometimes people like 100,000K... I'm just using 60k, so it's not all that thick, but it's better than 40k. After you got that done there, see? All the bubbles are out, and you want to put top cap on. I don't think I actually have enough diff oil in there. Oh, maybe I do. Okay, there you there's that. Then you want to put the screws back in there. I would not use a drill for this because if you strip out these screws, you're kind of screwed. I actually uh, was working on an HPI for my buddy, an HPI Savage. XL and one of the differential screws got stripped out because I was using a drill and the bit that was holding it just like this the bit slipped off went into my finger and if you can actually see there I actually still have a hole in my finger from me doing that so uh, yeah just don't use a drill on these screws it's a really bad idea We're just going to get these screws up tight, and then I'm going to throw her in the truck. I'll be right back. Hey, guys. I'm back. Truck's on the bench. Can't really see it that well because my lighting sucks. But that's fine. That's just fine. Anyways, I got marine grease here. Good stuff. Really, really good stuff. And that's what's going to go into... The front differential. That thing's built. Now it's time to do this. Now, you want to add a generous amount. If you can fit your thing in there. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hmm. Do I remember how this went in there? No, not really. Well, let's see here. Which way does it fit? Does it fit this way?
Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, well. Seems like it fits that way better. So, we'll do it that way. Uh, I will come back. Okay, there you go, guys. It's in there. Big globs and marine grease. Now time to put the diff cover back on. Oh, wait. <laughs> you see how I put the screws back in there? That is so I don't lose them. I gotta back those out, and then we'll put the diff cover back on. Be right back. Be right back. There you go. Got it on. First two screws on. And now I'm gonna put together the drive shafts. Put them on there. Put it all back together. There you go. Let's watch. You're gonna have to be from this angle, because this truck is a little huge. I don't have enough light. What does that do? Oh, it just creates a big ass shadow. Oh, let's go. How well can you guys see that? Not too bad, not too bad. Okay, well, let's put this thing back together. Okay, arms. Drive shafts in first. Always. Always drive shafts in first. Well, unless they don't want to cooperate. <laughs> then, the arms go in there quite nicely. Sometimes things don't work out all the time. Uh, oh, damn it. I forgot to take out the top two screws, too. Oops. Well, shit. And I am extremely running out of time for this video. So, I'm going to record this video. And then I will make another video, whichever parts this one does not cover. I'm hoping this is gonna last until the end of the video. Ah, there you go, see, perfect. Look at that shock tower thing, man. It's wonderful, it's wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I've been waiting so long, guys, for me to actually be able to uh, play with this stupid truck again. It's been, a, it's been a very long time trying to find parts for it. But Axial is now starting to make a comeback again. Coming back good, strong, and hard. So, yeah, I'm losing memory on my phone, by the way. That's why I'm saying I'm running out of time for this video. So, uh, I'm going to pause it right now. I'm going to put in the rest of the screws, and I'll come back, and we'll look at the vehicle. And then I will make another video. I'll be right back. There you go, guys. Everything's put back together. Oh my god. Mm. You know. Just put back together. Gotta put on the wheels. Put on the bumper. And then I will start on my another, another video. Anyways, guys, this is how to replace your rear front differential and your Yeti XL. Peace.